This video is going to show you how to set your D2L gradebook to release calculated grades to students automatically. By default, D2L always errs on the side of caution when it comes to releasing final grades to students. But with a few settings changes, you can allow your students to see their current grade average, or what D2L calls their final grade. To do this, you start in your gradebook, and you're going to go to the settings area, which is a little link here in the upper right hand corner. And there's a lot of things that you can manipulate in this settings area, so if you've never looked at it, definitely check out some of the things on the personal display options and org unit display options tabs. But for now, we're going to go to the calculation options tab, which is the third tab. And we're going to assume that you already have your grading system set up the way you want it, so we're going to scroll down to this bottom area of the calculation options tab. The first thing you're going to want to do is change this setting from adjusted final grade to calculated final grade. The adjusted final grade option, which is set by default, is going to give you the option to either confirm or edit the student's calculated grade before it's released to students as their final or current grade. So if you want that to auto-release, you're going to want to select calculated final grade. If you do that, then I would also make sure to recommend clicking drop ungraded items, making sure that radial button is clicked, rather than treat ungraded items as zero, because if you check treat ungraded items as zero, it means that any blank columns are going to affect the student's grade negatively, even if they haven't completed that assignment yet because you're not to that point in the semester. So I would make sure to click calculated final grade, drop ungraded items, and then also check this automatically keep final grades updated box. When those three setting changes are confirmed to be calculated, drop, and automatically keep final grades updated, click Save, say yes, and then you can click Close to go back to your gradebook. And then I would return to the Enter Grades screen, and there's one other thing that you have to do to make sure that these grades are published to students. You want to go to this Final Grade column, and you want to go to the Grade All area, and here we need to make sure that this final grade is actually released. And by default, none of these boxes in here are going to be checked unless you tell D2L to release these grades. So the easiest way to release all of your grades at once, and you can do this at the beginning of the semester, is go to this little drop-down menu here on the final grades heading, and then click Release All. And it's going to say, are you sure? And you say yes. And now you're going to see I have a checkbox in each of those columns, so I can hit Save. And I can hit Cancel to leave this screen. And now, when I look in my final grade column, I can see I have this open eye in every student's column. And that means not only is this final grade automatically calculating, but the little weird open eye icon means that students can actually see this grade as well. Now let's just take a quick second and show you what this grade is going to look like from the student view. Okay, now we're looking at the same course from a student's perspective. And if I'm a student, if I want to see my current average or my final calculated grade, I go to the Grades drop-down menu and go to Grades. And now you can see that you have this final calculated grade area that's showing up. If you hadn't gone through all those steps to check those boxes and turn on those settings and release those grades, this area simply wouldn't be there and you'd only see the things in the grade items area. But because we've gone through and done those steps, then my students can see their current average. And the word final calculated grade is actually a bit misleading because they can view this grade throughout the semester and it will just always reflect their current average and their current score in the course.